Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. With QuickBooks Online Advanced, you can include estimated costs when you fill out estimates for projects. That way you can measure your estimated versus actual profitability on a project. Let's go over the settings you'll need to estimate and record costs for projects. Record transactions related to projects and then measure estimated income and costs versus actuals. Before you fill out a cost estimate, you'll need to confirm some settings. Select Settings, Account and Settings. Then select Expenses. To record costs so that they show up on Estimates versus Actuals reports, you'll need the Items table turned on. Select Save and Done. Also, select Settings again and select Products and Services. If you charge customers for something and you also want to estimate its cost on a cost estimate, make sure to check this checkbox and assign an expense or cost of goods sold account to it. Now that you've set everything up, select Projects. To record a cost estimate for your work, you need to set it up as a project first. Check out this video to learn more about setting up and using projects. Once you see the project here, select it. Then select Add to Project, Cost Estimate. QuickBooks enters the project and any info you've already entered about the customer. Select a product or service you want to include on the estimate. And QuickBooks fills in your standard cost and sales price for the product or service. Also note that you can leave the cost or the customer price rate blank. So if you only want to estimate the cost of a product or service, you can enter a cost and no customer price. Enter the estimated quantity and any other products and services you want to include on the estimate. QuickBooks calculates your markup automatically based on what you've entered for your cost and what you're charging the customer. But you can change the markup and QuickBooks calculates a new customer price based on what the product or service costs and the markup you enter. You can also change the sales price directly. As you fill out the cost estimate, QuickBooks keeps track of your total estimated costs and total estimated income. Based on these figures, you'll see an estimated profit margin. Note that when you send or print the estimate, your customer will never see anything related to your costs, markup, or profit margin. Fill out the estimate with anything else you want to track or send to the customer, and then save and send. Later, when the customer approves or rejects the estimate, select it, change its status, and save it. This is important because estimate versus actuals reports only include accepted or closed estimates. For invoicing, cost estimates work like your regular estimates. When it's time to invoice, select New, Invoice, and enter the project's name. QuickBooks shows you the Open Estimate. Select Add. And if you've turned on Progress Invoicing, you can choose to invoice for a percentage of the estimate or specify what you're invoicing for by line item. Select Copy to Invoice. Make any final adjustments and save. Let's take a look at the reports for the project. Select Project Reports and then Estimates versus Actuals. Because you invoice the customer, you'll see the estimated income from the cost estimate, the actual income from the invoice, and then the difference. Now it's time to pay the contractor who performed the work. It's important to note that if you want to record project costs that appear on your Estimates versus Actuals report, you should not enter them from the transactions you download from your bank or credit cards. If you've already entered a transaction this way, you can edit it to include the items. Instead of adding transactions from here, select New, Expense, Check, or Bill. Enter the vendor you paid or who billed you. 
then close the category details and open the item details. From here you select the same product or service you entered on the cost estimate. If you don't see it here, open the products and services list and mark it to appear on purchase forms. Then come back to the transaction after you've entered it. Enter the amount you paid or received a bill for, and any other details. Then save the transaction. Let's look at the Estimate versus Actuals report again. Now the report lists your estimated and actual expenses, and any difference. Any expenses you've entered without a product or service, like downloaded transactions or payroll, appears as not specified. That way they're still included in the actual costs. Now you're ready to use cost estimates and estimate versus actuals reports in QuickBooks Online Advanced.